Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on part one of our border for our hexagon mystery blanket. Oh, check it out. I can't fit the whole blanket in so I've just scrunched the rest up down the bottom there and just showed you half of this side just so you can see what is going on. I mean check it out. I did show you on um, Wednesday's live pretty much what I was going to do. So we have now done it. Well I've done it. You're going to do it. Let's get a nice close-up. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love, love, love. It is a little bit different and as you can see um, I have popped all of the colours that I need for today's tutorial and yes you will need your the same hook that you used to make your blanket with don't go up a size like I did when I showed you on Wednesday I'd had to pull it all undone and redo it in the five you will need your scissors you will need your sewing needle and of course you will need your gorgeous blanket and doesn't the sunlight hit it nicely now <laughs> The sun just came out just as I started recording. Gorgeous, check it out. So guys, by the end of the tutorial, you will have this row here done and you will have the single crochet row done as well. Part one of the tutorial is today. Join me today. I hope you like the border. Um, and the other thing is you can use any color you like in here. You don't have to do it the way I've done it. I've done it where I use the same color as the thread just beneath it all right so you don't need to do that you can use any color you like eventually the border will be round right now not so much <laughs> but it will be round all right I'm not going to talk anymore because of course it goes for a long time <laughs> and I don't want to keep you up so happy crocheting to you and good luck with your border Alrighty guys, where we are going to start is with our contrast colour right here. You will also need to have your next colour and then your next and then obviously your next. I don't know what colours you used, but we're going this way in our blanket. So my very next colour is the peach. You'll be changing colours often, so be prepared for that, okay? Especially when you get to these contrast colours, they're quite small, the piece, so you'll be changing that very often. Okay, so there's a lot of cutting just in this row guys don't panic it may change maybe maybe not <laughs> sorry I'm so I'm so naughty I do apologize all right so what we're going to do with this row we need to start um, in the center which I'll show you in a minute and we're going to be chaining one and skipping a stitch and then we're going to be working on the pattern at the same time so you need to stay focused with different sections of your work okay so this is definitely not for beginners all right so remember our middle section for our green we are starting with our contrast color if you don't have a contrast color start wherever you like but start on a point just before a half hexagon all right well just before the point the middle right there you are going to pop your hook right in that middle stitch and we are going to be chaining up four all right so bring your tail end over chain up your four one two three and four now we're going to be chaining one more and that's going to be classified as your chain into your next stitch now you're just going to put a half treble which is in between a double and a treble in your second stitch not in this first stitch that you come to your very next stitch which is yarn over your hook skip your first stitch pop into your very next like normal and pull up a loop like normal you should have your normal three loops on your hook which is there yes so now what you have to do instead of pulling when you pull your loop through and instead of pulling it through two loops on your hook you're only pulling it through one so pull it through one then yarn over hook pull it through the first two then yarn over hook pull it through your next two so your treble is totally different this is a half treble okay your next stitch firstly you're chaining one before you go into any next stitch just for this row you're skipping one stitch and you are doing a double crochet just your normal double crochet in that stitch there all right chaining one and you are doing your half double you're skipping that one and doing your half double in your next stitch half double is that way Okay, you've done all this before with your hexagons so you know what you're doing chain one skipping one and you're popping a single crochet 
in that stitch right there okay easy so far chain one single crochet skip one single crochet in that top stitch right there chain one single crochet skipping that first one single crochet in your second stitch right there chain one and now we're going back down again so we need to do our half double that's yarn over your hook skip that first one pop your half double in there chain one skip that next stitch and you're putting your double in there like that chain one skip that first stitch and now you're putting the half treble that i showed you earlier in this stitch here so pop up your loop yarn over hook pull through the first loop on your hook yarn over hook pull through two loops on your hook yarn over hook pull through the last two loops chain one normally when we get to a middle we would be putting a full treble but because we're starting this half hexagon which is almost as high as the tip of your normal hexagon almost as high okay so we don't want to make that treble stitch too high otherwise it's going to be difficult to get around here so for this part of the tutorial that's why it's a little bit difficult this part of the border you are only putting in a, another half treble right here when you get to here you're doing the same when you get to here you're putting a treble because it's a lot deeper okay so for now don't worry about that <laughs> just worry about popping in your half treble again which is the same as this one but don't complete the stitch okay so we'll start our half treble in that center stitch right there yarn over your hook pull through the first loop on your hook yarn over your hook pull through the next two hold it there don't finish your um your stitch because you are going to change your color now so grab your next color if you haven't used another color just continue but we are going to grab our color bring that out a little bit so you can see and pull it through the last two stitches on your hook now what you do is to tighten everything up you just grab those two little ends at the back and you hold your work in front like that just tightens it up a little bit so you don't have a loose stitch there chain one all right, now this side, a little bit tricky. You have to stay focused, I know. <laughs> your very next stitch, yarn over your hook. You pop a double crochet in your second stitch, not your first. Chain one, and you pop a half double crochet in your second stitch, right there. Chain one and another half double crochet in your next stitch i'm sorry the second stitch <laughs> chain one and a double crochet in your second stitch right there chain one now we're going to be putting a half treble in the very next stitch so pop your hook in pull up a loop yarn over your hook pull through the first loop on your hook yarn over hook pull through the next two loops yarn over hook pull through the last two loops chain one we're going to pop a double crochet not in that first stitch but in the next stitch right there then we're going to pop a half or chain one sorry i keep forgetting those chains <laughs> we're going to pop a half double not in that next stitch but the very next stitch right there one chain one and a half double in your very second stitch again chain one and your double skip that one go into your next in your next all right i just wanted to show you what you did exactly what you did here all right so you understand the concept of what's happened we have 11 stitches across including one that we're going to put in there in a minute which we haven't done yet all right what you have in your pointed stitches is your trebles, even though this one's a half treble because it's going into a, a um, half hexagon. It will get, you'll be able to understand it later, right? You've got your half trebles, your doubles, your half doubles, uh, your, your doubles, your half doubles, and then your three singles, I think it was. And here you've got your half trebles, yes doubles half double half double double and half treble okay it's a little bit confusing but once you get it you know you have to do that in every blocked 
section and that you'll understand as we go along all right so that's the first part of our section okay of our blocked section if that makes sense so here we're going to pop um another half treble so yarn over your hook not in the first stitch but in your next one there there and there chain one skip one go into the next with a double chain one skip one go into the next with a half double chain one skip one go into the next with your single one chain one skip one go into the next with a single two chain one skip one go into the next with your third single so right up the top you are doing your three singles always chaining one in between and always skipping a stitch all right chain one now we're doing exactly the same thing in the opposite direction okay skip one half double skip one double so you're skipping one and you're jumping into your double remembering to chain one in between chain one skip one doing your half treble there okay now here all right this part we haven't done yet okay because we've been putting our half trebles in this section here because it's a smaller section but these dips here are getting deeper so now we want to put in a full treble right, don't forget we're chaining one first chain one yarn over your hook twice pop your hook in that middle space pull up a loop yarn over hook pull through the first two yarn over hook pull through the next two yarn over hook pull through the last two okay chain one and that is a lot deeper see how it drops a lot deeper because your your hexagon is dropping deeper in this angle than it does here so that's why we did half um half a treble and here we've done a full treble we've popped our half trebles here as well on both sides a little bit tricky to remember but it won't be hard once you get used to it remember we've got six sections or five sections to do i can't remember now six sections to do um and you'll get it you'll get it after the second section if not just keep re-watching this section that i'm showing you now all right so now we are going to do the same thing here. The same thing is we're skipping one. We've chained our one there. We're skipping one. We're putting our yarn over our hook. And you can get a nice close-up of this now. Skipping that one, jumping into the next with a half treble. And you know how to do a half treble. Chain one. Skipping one, double. Chain one, skipping one, half double. Chain one, skipping one, single. Whoops, don't split the yarn. There we go. Chain one, skipping one, another single. Chain one, skipping one, another single. So always three singles up the top, separating them, of course. Chain one, skipping one, half double. So we're going back the other way, opposite direction chain one skipping one double chain one skipping one half treble now before we do our next one you have to remember we need to change our thread to the green again so whilst we're doing our th stitch in here we need to change it whilst it's in there. Actually, you know what I didn't do? I didn't cut the thread on the green last time. And I don't think you would have done it too because you would have just been listening to me chatter away. You might have done it. <laughs> All right, so you need your green again, your light green again. If you're changing colours, if not, just continue. Okay, don't forget to chain one. We're going to put a normal treble in there, yarning over your hook twice yarning over your hook <laughs> yarn over your hook twice pop your hook in your middle stitch pull up a loop yarn over your hook pull through two yarn over your hook pull through the next two ah don't pull those last two through 
because this is where we change to our green. All right, back to our light green or whatever color you used in this hexagon right here, or you can keep it however you like. Just pull your loop through like normal if you're not changing colors at all. Okay, it gives you the option. You can decide whether or not to change colors or not, like I mentioned in the promo. So you're chaining one, and you're hopping with a half treble into your very next or in second stitch. So you're skipping that one, popping into your next one with your half treble. Through the first one, through two and through the other two. Later we'll work on weaving in those ends, but for now we're not worried about them. Chain one. Let's move all this out the way. Oh, in actual fact, you know what you can do? So you're not doing what I did before. <laughs> you can cut your thread now. Give your thread a cut. Give yourself a, a bit of a tail just in case you've made a mistake and you've missed one of these ends and you need to put that stitch back in later, right? Hopefully you haven't already cut and left a tiny tail, but never mind. <laughs> all right. Skip one, double, whoops, chain one, skip one, half double, chain one, skip one, single, chain one, skip one, single again, chain one, skip one, and single again. And now we go back down the other way chain one skip one half double chain one skip one double chain one skip one half treble chain one skip one now before we continue you need to grab your next color if you are changing if you're not changing, just keep going. Okay. Now, ordinarily, you would put your yarn over your hook twice and do your treble. But remembering when we get to the half hexagon, we're not doing um, a full treble. We're only doing a half treble in that section right there. So pop your normal yarn over your hook and do your half treble, which is through the one loop and then the two. Oh, and don't pass your two loops yet because you have your orange you're going to change into your orange. If you don't want to change, that's fine. Just continue. Grab your loop and pull your orange through. Grab everything else. Hold it at the back for a moment. Chaining one. Our next stitch is a double. So yarn over your hook. Skip that first one. Double in your next. Pull up that loop for a minute. What I want you to do is to make sure you are cutting <laughs> your yarns at the end of each row. So now you've got to cut your green. This is called a row, we should say side, at the end of each side. So there's your green. You're going to need that green later, so I would cut that and get prepared for later. You don't have to if you've got six or seven skeins hanging off it, that's fine. Okay, entirely up to you. Before we go on, this is the best bit, guys. You can go on exactly what you're doing there. Just repeat what you saw from your green here all the way to your green there. That, all of that, you just have to repeat that for this section right here. So instead of watching me <laughs> show you again, just go back to this green right here where we did our half treble, which we did just do a half treble, and just repeat it there, and there, and there, until you get to Oh gosh, it's big now. Till you get to your last repeat. When you get to your last repeat and then you're on your last side of that repeat and you're getting close to that treble or the chains that we first did, wait for me there and I'll tell you what we're going to do next. However, before you head off on your own, and I noticed I made a bit of a boo-boo in my section here. This is the area, like I said earlier, this is the area where you can fudge it if there's a mistake. Now I noticed there's a mistake in the whole round. If I didn't want to take all these single crochets undone, I wouldn't fix it. I would just fudge it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Because I realized my stitch doesn't marry up here, and I think it's because this was the 
from memory, this is the, what it does, this was the one where we slip stitched to join. I don't know if you remember the very last row of our single crochets. We did a uh, slip stitch to join with two together. So kind of, it doesn't really marry up at the end of this row. If you found that happened with your final row, your final stitch in that very last round, just fudge it. Seriously, don't even stress because there should be like a, a single crochet here and there and one slip stitch to join but I kind of slip stitched it in the first part so don't worry if you get to that part where we finished off our join um, and you doesn't marry up just go directly into the middle stitch with your half treble I just thought I'd, I'd let you know that because I know that's what's happened here with mine and it's possible that would happen with yours won't happen with all of them just in the one where we had our final join for our single crochet row. I'm hoping, hoping this makes sense. All right. So just continue to hop in there. If you started from there, you'll find right at the very end of the row, it'll look like you um, can't skip a stitch. But trust me, it'll be classified as a skip stitch because it's really quite solid, the join there and a slip stitch over. All right. So I just thought I'd heads up on that one because <laughs> I got here and thought, oh, wait a minute, this is not working out. But it actually is. It's just that real slip stitch to join that we did for our final border row in that earlier row okay so don't stress just go in there in the middle with your normal half treble I think it was yes it's a half treble so you're chaining one and you are half trebling in that space right there because it is between the half and a full so you still need your half treble and not a full treble and then continue like normal only for this part here where we had our join problem. Now, if you find that you've made a mistake over here, do exactly the same. If you've made a mistake here, do the same. You will not be able to, to, to notice it. However, keep the stitch count in your middle here exactly the same per section. Now, I believe it's 11 per section. I uh, could be wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah? If you had to count the middle ones, all the middle stitches to the middle is 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's count the one where I'm fudging it. Okay? There's your centre. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right? So I fudged it that little tiny bit only because that slip stitch to join was where, and in fact, you see the big gap anyway, um, was where we had our final end of the row. So fudge it if you can, but make sure you have 11, 11. I don't think it'll make a difference with the next row anyway, because um, you can always fudge the next row as well. So only if you need to fudge it go ahead and fudging like this one here I'm going to fudge it I'm not taking it undone because it is part of the join um, I'm sorry here it's part of your slip stitch join so it wasn't wrong it's just stretched over a bit all right that's all I wanted to say <laughs> continue all the way in your round get to the very end section right here and meet me up all righty guys ta-da <laughs> it's very big I can't fit it in but we are at the end of the round Hopefully you didn't have any fudges that you needed to do. I only had that one that I showed you earlier. Okay, so now we're yarning over our hook. We are going to put our final treble. I'm sorry, we try half treble. My apologies. That's your double and then skip. And there's your half treble right there. Like that. Chain one. Now, you need to slip stitch over to the stitch here. But remembering, we're not going to slip stitch to that first one because that is a chain, a chain to go into your next space. So actually you want to slip stitch to the one right next to it. So there's your top stitch that you need to slip stitch to there, if I can get it through that tight stitch. Yeah, and of course mine's always tight, aren't they? <laughs> You're so used to me by now, aren't you guys? Pull that loop through that nice tight stitch, yeah, and pull it through. Pull up your yarn. Guess what, guys? Done. Yay! <laughs> that part of the border is complete. Now, that's what I like to call an extra, kind of a second foundation border, really. It's not the foundation, because the foundation border was your dark green. 
Now what you're going to do, best bit guys, this is the second part of this border. Um, it's the final part of this border for today. There, there are other parts to the border. You're not finished yet guys, don't get your hopes up too high, right? <laughs> Pop your uh, dark green yarn anywhere you like. Now as you know, I don't like to start in an area where I've finished off. Just grab a spot somewhere. Now, it should be a single crochet in your space and a single crochet in your stitch. Space, stitch, space, stitch. Now you're going to find some of your stitches, like your half doubles, are going to be hard to pop your hook through. Your singles, pretty much the same. Where's your singles? Here we go. You need to pop your hook in the space before your singles, although I find singles easier to find because they've got this gap there. All right, but your half doubles are a little tricky. There's your gap. And that's your half double stitch that you need to go into. All right? If it pays for you, entirely up to you, to go into that stitch there, by all means. See how tight mine are? <laughs> Hopefully yours aren't so tight, all right? Um, so it's a little bit tricky, but you will find it, all right? So what we're going to do, we're going to start from the corner. Any corner you like, just pop your hook in any midsection or corner it doesn't matter because this stitch is the same in the round okay so you just grab your yarn pull the loop through all right so pass your dark green over oh it's all fiddly now because the threads are everywhere which we have to weave in at the end of this tutorial sorry guys <laughs> chain one i'm sorry guys <laughs> single crochet in the same stitch and as you can tell i'm crocheting over that tail end and there you go that's your first stitch now, if you want, you can pop a stitch marker there. We don't really need to because it's the only dark green in the round. So when you get back here, you will notice slip stitch into there. If you want to pop your stitch marker or something, a little thread there to show where you started, you can. Now, single crochet in the space before your next stitch. So we're single crocheting around everything there. Yes. Now, there's your next stitch right there. You're single crocheting in that next stitch. You can't see it because, well, you probably can, but I've got my tail end that I'm going over. There, all right? Single crochet in your next space around all thicknesses. Single crochet in that next stitch. All right, now I'm just gonna drop that thread because we're coming up to our half double, which is quite confusing to stitch into. Single crochet in your space and single crochet into that half double stitch. Now you can pop it there or you can pop it there, whichever suits you, okay? And then single crochet in your space, single crochet in your single crochet. Now remember there's spaces between those single crochets. You need to single crochet in there as well. And in the stitch. And in the space. And in the stitch. And in the space. We're up to our half doubles. There. And in your space. And in your stitch. And in your space. And in your stitch. And in your space. And in your stitch. Easy so far? I'm just going to crochet over that pink because I can. And in the space. And in the stitch. Space. Stitch. It's a bit of a tight stitch there for me. <laughs> space. I'm dropping that pink. And that's it. So what I want you to do, two super easy, super, super easy. Making sure you are getting every space and every stitch just continue doing that which is a basic stitch all the way through until you get to of course your last few stitches now if you want to do exactly what i did with that pink i just picked it up and crocheted over it you don't have to we're still going to weave it in i'm very fussy i told you <laughs> so there you go single crochet get to the space and meet me up Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of the row. Talk about, look at this, yarn chicken from this skein. 
<laughs> so I just wind mine up in little skeins and then I just hope for the best and I did and it worked. So here we go. I'm sorry, just a little bit of a trivia there. <laughs> All right, so we are here at the end of the row. Uh, I need to do a single crochet in the space before. Oh, let's just blow that up a little bit more. A single crochet in that stitch and a single crochet in the space before because we didn't do a single crochet there, we did it in the stitch. Now all we need to do is easy, easy, slip stitch in that nice tight stitch of mine. That's oh, not too bad. <laughs> it has been tighter. Pull that through, pull that through. Pull up a loop, and yes, you're going to cut it. All right, you're going to cut it because you have to go ahead and weave in these gazillion ends. But how gorgeous does the border look? Gorgeous! I know it's not completely round yet. It will be. It will be. <laughs> Trust me. Would you buy a used car from this lady? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take me anywhere, can you? So just quickly, going to show you, turn it around the other way. Now I've been crocheting in some of the ends here, as you can see, and I have been leaving some. So we're just going to quickly um, sew in a couple. Now just quickly to let you know, um, this Saturday's live, I will not only have the border that we have completed, but I'll have the next step to the border completed for you as well now you probably won't get that till monday or tuesday of next week but i will have this next step after this single crochet row completed if you're anything like me i've crocheted over it already but i'm a stickler and i'm just going to weave back in the other way splitting 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 that section making sure you can't see your needle okay so Come and check me out live this Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. It's our usual live. Um, it will have all the details for the next step of your border. Um, and we'll also have some more details for the newbies as well. Okay. And that's it, guys. This is this part of the border complete. There's that weaved in. Now, if you are wanting, if you are not subscribed to the channel and you would like to, just click subscribe. And don't forget to click see all or accept all so you can receive all of our tutorials in your inbox guys because there are so many exciting things coming up over the next few weeks it's not even half funny now this stitch as you know when we joined it, it kind of sits underneath here so what we're going to do it's entirely up to you you can go back up if you like and weave yourself in through there or you can go under here i would like to split that yarn you don't need to you can weave it way back in up there I'm going to split the yarn and come down. I'm actually splitting the stitch. All right, making sure you can't see the needle on the other end. Otherwise, it's not going to look right, is it? So I've split that stitch, that whole stitch I've split it. Okay, now I'm going to weave in and out here. You don't have to, it's probably better off you to go up there and weave in and out there. But I'm going to weave in and out here only because we already had the orange up there but again it's entirely up to you it's probably better for you to go up the top actually now that i think about it <laughs> don't listen to me i'm bad news <laughs> i'm bad news guys <laughs> go the other way <laughs> all right there we go all right so that one there is complete now um okay beautiful 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 what i want you to do is go around your whole blankie and weave in all these ends get yourself ready for saturday um because saturday's live i tell you the next step of what we're going to do and check it out you'll get to see the blanket in full all nice and straight and neat right now it's all yucky because we've got ends everywhere <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching this is part one of our border so there you go part two of our border will come either monday or tuesday in the meantime i'm going to hide those ends just pretend like we weaved them all in i'm so good at weaving in all my ends aren't i guys <laughs> thank you so much for watching my name is mary this is wow crochet and ciao for now